Natalie Prince from Waikato University uh, is a sustainable seas, uh, sta on a sustainable seas stakeholder panel. She was born in Germany uh, as a marine ecology PhD student at the University of Waikato, Tauranga, and is part of that stakeholder panel as the youth representative. Noreira Etehuinga, let's show a bit of love uh, for Natalie. Kia ora. Kia ora, Pahia. Kia ora, Koto Katoa, Ko Natalie Toko Ingoa, no Tiamana Aho. Um, e mihi ana ki ngā tohu o nehe o Tauranga moana e noho nei au. Um, e te hau kainga hi mihi. Um, danke für die Möglichkeit hier sein zu dürfen. Uh, nau reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. I wish the ocean actually had a voice because it would have asked us ages ago, what the heck are you guys doing? And I feel like up until now, before I get to the future, up until now we lived, or we live with this out of sight, out of mind mentality. So anything that goes underneath the surface of that vast blue extent or down the river or down the drain is just gone, gone out of our mind. And, and that's fair enough, I mean, um, even 60% of all people on the planet live actually further than 100 kilometers from the ocean. They're not as lucky as people in Aotearoa. So people are not connected to the ocean. They might not ever, ever see the ocean in their life. So they don't see the sea as part of their life and consequences um, from their actions. So out of three things, the first thing I wanted to say today is that I think a future, a better future for the ocean will have humanity with an increased awareness, consciousness, that being mentally connected to the fact that everything they do in their daily action, daily actions will have um, a consequent, direct consequence to the ocean, no matter wh where they live, even the mountains down to the plains. And that their actions, even just deciding to take the bike that morning, has a huge impact um, on the environment. The second part, or the second thing that I can see in the future, is that we will have an ever-increasing amount of knowledge, and that's all types of knowledge. That's science, that's mātauranga, um, that's probably even more than I know today, but we'll have an ever-increased knowledge base, so we will have no excuses to say we don't have enough knowledge to take action. Um, so with that increased knowledge, we'll have increased understanding of our marine environment, of our environment as, as, a, as a whole, and we will have an increased understanding of how we can work with the environment and with the ocean, how we can restore it, how we can contribute, and how we can be part of it. So both of these things, the increased awareness and the increased amount of knowledge, or ever-increasing amount of knowledge together, create something that I guess Western people refer to as ocean literacy. Um, we don't have to explain uh, the word kaitiakitanga anymore, but I feel like, I feel really privileged to be able to learn about the concept of kaitiakitanga, because this is something the world needs to learn. And I feel like this ocean literacy, or kaitiakitanga, needs to be taught to every new generation from scratch, because we need to teach it to the extent that it changes behaviors, that it changes rigid structures, that we can actually create this new norm. Um, and how, what, what the ocean actually means to our own life. So people only protect what they know. People only protect what they love. And so we need to target people who are not in this room. And that brings me to the final point, and I think also the last part of the equation that ma makes everything work. We have increased awareness, we have increased knowledge, but what we need and what a better ocean will need is a humanity that cares. From the young child on the beach throughout to a young early career researcher that is being heard, up all the way to the shopkeeper in the mountains that might never see the ocean, 
um, to the billionaire who has the money to spend that can actually make a difference. We need people who care. And so, in summary, in a better future for the ocean, I can see an ocean that is valued in its Māori, that is seen and heard, an ocean that is highly functional and that is guarded by an ocean aware and educated people that care. Kia ora koutou. <laughs>